Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm here with a little box opening. So this is a baby that like will be joining my collection. It's actually blank right now. Um, I took the shipping labels off so we don't have to worry about that, but I thought it'd be kind of fun to do a little unboxing of this baby. This is a full body silicone boy and I have been so excited for this baby ever since I saw him in clay. I was just obsessed and really fell in love with it and I knew I needed him for my collection. I probably was the first person to order this blank because I was waiting so excitedly for this kit to be released and he finally just got here. I've been waiting all day for him. I'm so excited. So, it's a blank silicone. Ooh, I'm so excited. Okay. This is his head. Okay. <laughs> oh my goodness. I just wanted to open him up and see him. So, he, like I said, he is blank. He's not painted. <laughs> but he will be joining my collection regardless. Uh, he's just not painted yet. <laughs> but I'm super excited. Here, I'll take the whole thing off. Oh, he also has a little boy part. So I'm gonna have to like censor that. Oh my goodness! Oh, he's so cute. He's freezing cold. Oh my gosh, look at that face. Oh, that is so cute. Hold on. Oh, he is so cute. Oh. Oh my goodness. This. He is so cute. I'm obsessed. So this is Fender um, by Lillian Breedveld. Yeah, I have kit number two. I'm telling you, I was literally the first person to order this, I, I swear. So I'm so excited to have this baby. He is so cute. Wow. I'm looking at his sculpting, like those gums in his mouth. Incredible. I love his little expression. Like, look at that. That cute little face! And then I got um, armatures in his arms, so his arms can be like posed. And then his legs are just limp. Um, I'm gonna have to censor this, because he is nude. But, oh my gosh, I'm so excited for him. He's a full body silicone. Um, yeah, Fender by Lillian Breedveld. I love her sculpts. I love her silicones especially, and I am so excited to have this little guy join my collection. Obviously he's not finished yet. I'm still deciding on um, who I'd like to have paint him and everything. Um, because I have been debating possibly making him for myself. I'm not sure if you guys are aware, but I did start painting silicone dolls um, in November 2022. And so I've been doing it for like a little over a year. Um, I've finished, he's, I'm just squishing him, he's so cute. I've finished three dolls, but I've worked on a few more than that. Um, like I have more in the works. I think I've been working on six, but I have, or seven, but I've finished three. Um, and because he's for my collection, I obviously don't wanna if I'm gonna make him myself, I definitely wouldn't do it soon because I'd wanna be a little bit better um, and I would have someone else root him. But oh, I haven't decided yet if I wanna make him or if I'll have him made. I need to decide that, but regardless, I've been so excited for his kit to get here. Look at that little face. I'm obsessed. And I actually, so this kit Fender. She sculpted this head for him new, but this body she reused from a different sculpt, Ismail, I think is how you say it. Um, and when that one, when she released that one, I was also really obsessed, so I ordered that one. And I've had him for a couple months, and he's actually... I can grab him. Um, so I've had that one for a couple months, and I was planning to have Ismail be part of my collection, but then when I saw she was... she sculpted this head, and she was like, should I just put him on Ismail's body? I love this one even more, 
So they have the same body but different heads and I just loved his head so I ordered him too. So I have both of them. Look at these ears. I love him. So <laughs> there's this guy. I have both of them. Um, and I didn't think it was that big of a deal because since I am painting silicones now, like I was like, I can just save Ismail to paint myself. So I will end up painting Ismail for sure. Fender I'm still not positive on because I don't want to ruin him because he's for me. Let me go grab Ismail. So this is Ismail's little, do a different thing. But I have kit number three of Ismail. But they have like the same. <laughs> Yeah, so hold on. <laughs> Here's Ismail. He's also really cute. Um, sorry, he's like covered in my hair and cat hair. Because silicones are sticky. So he's really cute, but I liked this one a lot more. I don't know, I just fell in love with him. But they have like the same body. And this one I also got armatures in the arms for. Um, uh, and like they could be little twins. But I don't really think they look that similar. And also... I just know that I wouldn't want twins. Twins kind of stress me out um, with the dolls because I'd, I'd be so focused on wanting them to match and then it's like, it seems dumb to buy like two of the same outfits. So I wouldn't want to do that, but then I'd like want them to match and I think it would drive me crazy. So <laughs> I wouldn't do twins. I think I'm gonna end up just painting this one for fun and this one Possibly painted by me, but he's definitely for my collection. I'm obsessed with this little guy. I kind of want to dress him up a little bit and just play with him. Um, but he is so cute. Oh my goodness. Okay, look how cute he is. I wanted to just dress him up a little bit and play around with him. I put him in a size one diaper, and this is a zero to three month sleeper, which it's a little big, but I think it's pretty good. I think newborn would be too tight on him. I was about to just try out some pacifiers in his mouth. His mouth isn't that deep, but I do think he could still take a full pacifier, um, which isn't the biggest deal to me. Like, I don't care that much, but I would like to know if he can take some. He is just so cute. I love how cuddly he is. Like, look at the way, I love the way he moves. He's about the same size as Elodie, I'd say. Um, Cause Elodie's also like a little bit of a smaller zero to three month size baby, but I still put her in zero to three. Um, because again, I think the newborn is just a little too tight for her. And especially with silicone, like, you don't want to be tugging on them. So, oh my goodness. He is so cute. I love this face. I can't wait to have him finished in part of my collection. He's so precious. I don't know what I'm going to name him yet, but I just am obsessed with him already. And I don't know, this is a different kind of video. I don't always... I don't think I've ever done a video like this where I share like a blank silicone or anything. Um, yeah, so. <laughs> he is so cute. I just thought it'd be fun to share this little guy so. Oh, and he can like chew on his fingers, especially because he has the armature. That's so cute. <laughs> oh, I love him. I don't know what I'm gonna name him yet, but, or anything like that. I'm not gonna worry about that right now. He's not even painted. And I will be wrapping him up and like putting him back away, but I just wanted to play with him for a little bit. Um, well, he's right here. I just opened him. I wanted to check him out and he's so perfect. And it doesn't matter that he's getting like covered in lint and stuff right now because he gets washed before being started painting anyway. So perfectly fine. Oh, he's so cute. I love how squishy he is. I love silicone so much. He is perfect. I love the way he moves and the way he feels. He is perfect. This is a perfect baby. I love this size. I think this is like my favorite size. I love a zero to three month size baby. Oh, he's so cute. Yeah, we're gonna try some pacifiers. I brought over my bucket of boy pacifiers and these are just like fun ones attached to things. So, here. I'll take him like this. So, um, let's see. I love the Ryan and Rose pacifiers, so that would be a good one. Yeah, you can take that pretty well. I mean, it looks a little weird from the side because his mouth, he's like a little baby bird. His mouth is like wide open, um, especially from this side. <laughs> but it's not too bad. 
That's not terrible. Let's see about a Soothie. Soothie's like the same deal. It kind of looks like he's <laughs> screaming at it. Oh my goodness. So yeah, a lot of my pacifiers are Ryan and Rose and like Soothies. Those are my favorites to use on my silicones. Um, like that's cute. <laughs> Let me see if I have a different... This looks like it'll be too big for his mouth. Oh, actually, that's not bad. Excuse all the hair. <laughs> okay. The hair. That's not bad. He's like yelling into it, is what it looks like. It's so funny. Oh, I love that face. And then I like how, when, like, oh, look at that little face. I like how his expression changes. Like, that's something that's so cool about silicones. <laughs> it's not the same as with vinyls. Like, so cute what else this is what I do when I get new dolls I love to just like play around and see what they can take like for pacifiers and like what outfits so it's the same thing let's try this one I think this is Tommy Tippy. okay a lot of them look weird from the side yeah that one doesn't really fit I think it's because it's too long his mouth isn't open all the way. So like this one's cut. Let's see that one. That's actually really good. Oh, never mind. He's spitting it out. <laughs> he said, no, it's not. I don't know. I'm just playing around with it. I don't I don't really mind if he like can't take certain ones. Um, I just like to have at least one pacifier you can take. And I feel like the Ryan and Rose aren't bad, especially from the front. Um, yeah, it's not bad. He could do it. But yeah. He's so cute. I'm obsessed with this baby. Ah, oh, I love him. He is so... I just want to hold him. Oh my goodness, I'm just snuggle him. He's so perfect. I highly recommend this baby. I love Lillian Breedbuild's um, sculpts, especially her silicones. I ordered this directly from Lillian Breedbuild on Facebook. And I know Ismiel's a sold out edition. Last I heard, he only had one left in the edition and it's probably gone by now. So I'm, I don't think you can get him anymore or Ismiel, but she's always coming out with new sculpts and she has other ones. Highly recommend her sculpts. They're so nice. Oh, he is gorgeous. I'm so excited about him. Look at this little guy. I love him. But yeah. Um, that's gonna be it for this video thank you guys for joining me on this little unboxing so that's just like a little sneak peek I guess because he will be joining my collection completely done in the future no idea when because like I said I'm not sure who I'm gonna have paint him yet it might be me it might be someone else I don't know um, but whenever I get that all figured out and done you'll see a box opening of him at some point in the future um, or like I guess a second box opening because this was his first box opening but you will see that some point in the future, hopefully before the end of the year, but who knows? It might not be this year. We will see, but regardless, this will be like the next baby to join my collection. I love him so, so much. I don't know if you guys know, but I've always just been drawn to boy dolls. I love boys and like every doll that I make, I usually tend to make them as boys. Like it's a, it's honestly a bad problem because you can't make every doll a boy. Um, and I haven't had a boy silicone in forever and I just really am connecting with him. I'm so excited about him. I have been so excited ever since I saw the pictures of his face in clay. Love this baby so much. So yeah, I'm so, so happy to have him here. He's precious, I'm obsessed. Thank you guys for watching. And this little guy will see you in the future. Who knows when, but I will see you in the next video. All right, <laughs> bye.